Hey guys and welcome to a new video on how to do. Today I'll show you how to make a clone effect for free in DaVinci Resolve 18, looking like this. Alright, now to start. You have your clip right here. What you want to do is copy it, click on it, go to copy, move the red thing to the side and then just paste it. Then you want to lay it on top of the other clip. Let me just do the big bigger like this. All right, now what you want to do is figure out where you want your clone to be at. For example, let's say I want my clone to be hmm, right. Yeah, let's say right here. Then what you want to do is right click this top clip and go to change clip speed. Here, click freeze frame and then click change. What this does as you can see, it freezes the frame behind this point. Before the cut, the, it's the normal video. What we want to do is delete this one and then just extend this video to the length of the video below, like this. All right, then what you want to do is just do it like me and then right click it and go to new fusion clip. That's your fusion clip. Then go to fusion. And now you have media in one media in two. It's a bit difficult to see which one is the paused video and which one is the original. So just go on the upper right corner here and click on viewer, which enables the double viewer mode, then click on media in on the left circle like this. And now you can just scroll around and see that this is the original video. What you want to do is just change the locations of these two. And of course, if you enable this one, you can see this is the post video. Then we just want to rename those. I'll name it pause and I'll name this one original like this. Now just click the pause fusion module and then click on polygen until you see this then click on invert you can zoom in just go to fit and for example 100 percent and then just create a mask around the object and do it very precisely just click it and then click around the edges of your object All right, once you're finished, just click invert again until you have your masked object. Now what you want to do is go to media out one and enable the right circle like this. Then what you want to do is click on original open effects and search for the planar tracker. Then just click it until you see it is like this. And you can close the effects. Then what you want to do is click planar tracker and search for the exact frame where these two objects match. Mm -hmm. You see, for me, it would be 25. All right, now, as you have selected the planar tracker, just click on this sign and then just mask around anything so that DaVinci Resolve can track the movement just like me for example just click around this perfect once you finished go to the right and select tracker hybrid point area and the motion type for me it's translation and rotation you have you just have to see what fits the best for you then click on set and then go to this one and now, as you can see, it just tra tracks the movement here. Now what you want to do is just click on create planar transform. Here we go. Here we have it. And then just connect the pause with the planar and the planar with the merge one, just like this. All right. Now, if we watch the video, as you can see, he's jumping, but our object here doesn't leave. 
So what you need to do is find again the spot where they match. For me, it was frame 25. And then I just click on the polygon node, go to con controls. And here what you want to do is with level, just click on this little diamond and then just move one point forward. For me, it would be 26. So just move one forward to 26 and then drag the level all the way to zero. And that is it. That's the end result. I think you can do it way better than me, but just try it out. Okay, that was a little hack on how to make a clone effect for free in DaVinci Resolve 18. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to stay tuned for more how to do videos. If you have a video suggestion, just let me know down in the comments. See you guys soon.